Shall I say that you're having a snack? Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bridges of Light, to Soul Talk with Sahar on Bridges of Light. Um, tonight, my friend and colleague Katrina Valente and I will be taking questions from the from you, the viewers, on anything that is to do with your life, with your soul journey anything you like if you can hear me please give us thumbs up because i'm trying new technology so i i don't know if you can hear me can you hear me guys okay i'm just gonna invite a few people okay oh great hi hi samar let us know where you're watching from you can hear us well okay to our um, viewers in Italy, I just want to say something in Italian. Buonasera a tutti e bienvenuto a Ponti de Luci. Stasera, io e Katrina faremo domande a tutti gli spettatori su ciò che riguarda l'anima e il suo viaggio. E questa è la fine della mia lingua italiana. So I hope you understood that. Yeah, I've been And I'm practicing. the Italian one. Do you know any Italian actually? Come stai? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, thank you for watching. When you watch on the rebroadcast, please let us know where you're watching from. And let us know if you have any questions about anything. How can we see if people are on? Okay, so what would you like to um, what would you like to ask us? We're ready. Whether it's to do with your soul number, whether it's to do with your reading today. How about if we do a general reading for today? What's the outlook for today? Okay. Um, it's actually been quite difficult because we've had Mercury in retrograde. Mm -hmm. We've had a partial moon eclipse um, a couple of days ago. So if you've been feeling emotional, if you've been feeling up and down, if you have been feeling like you want to give up on life. It's all very normal, um, but you know, there is nothing else to do than carry on carrying on. Oh great, so what's the card for today? Unleash your creativity, it's the number 31. Three so and one is four, and four is the angel number. So what does that tell us, Katrina? Um, so Because I don't know these cards. It, it's about, you know, it's time to step on your true path now. You've got to do what you love and not what makes you money. And uh, listen to the heart, not the head. That's the most important change. This is the make. card for today? Yeah. And then we'll do romance because everybody wants to know about love, right? So what do we ask? We ask how, what's the advice for the collective for love? Okay, for everyone who's watching tonight. Hmm. Oh, wow. I got the star, Ooh, which is card. an absolutely brilliant card. These are um, French cards. Um, I really like them. They're very, very easy on the eye, very nice to watch and to, to look at. And the star card is about healing, is about being positive. It's about inspiration. It's about healing in a way that your path will be unblocked and you can get on um, with stuff and do it with ease. So what I recommend is to kind of, you know, tune in, do a little bit, um, not quite meditation, but center yourself, be in that stillness, and then get on with what you need to do. And it's also, uh, the star card's the Aquarius sign. Okay, I don't know how to And speak. it's about your dreams oh, and wishes coming true. <laughs> so for romance, I've got retreat. And it says, it's time to disconnect from the world. So again, it's all about reflection. What is it you're really desiring? What do you want out of your life? Who do you want to be with? You know? Okay, so we've got a few viewers here. Can you let us know, guys? Um, say hello, wave. Tell us where you're watching from and what would you like us to address? So if you just joined us, this is Soul Talk with Sahar and tonight, Katrina and I are answering questions from the viewers anything at all really um, just let us know what would you like to ask so we've talked about numerology cards soul's journey healing 
if you've got any problems. Um, what would you like to sort out today? Can we try something else of one of the stuff? Well, I do the, um, I've also brought the color test. So if you'd like to all choose a color and I'll tell you what it means. This is related to the chakras of the body and the chakras are your energy portals that run down the center line. So each one has a meaning, a thought form and an organ attached to it. So I'll just hold them up and you've got to do it quickly. It's got nothing to do with your favorite color. It's as you see them in yeah. the moment. So quickly choose four. Number one, two, three, and four. Shall I get that closer? So these are the cards and you see which colors you're attracted to. Write them down. Don't take too long. And don't think about it. It needs to be really intuitive without thinking about it. I think that's long enough. <laughs> So, um, why don't I pick four? So we can demonstrate how this works. Or do you want to pick four? No, no. Okay. Oh, I'm the boss today. Okay. I'll pick four. You can pick four. <laughs> okay. Turquoise. Tell me not Pink, mm -hmm. orange, and gold. Okay. Turquoise, pink, orange, and gold. So, this is the mood that Sahar is in at the moment, in this present moment. So the first colour is what you want to connect to, the second colour is your block, the third is your support to open the block, and the fourth is where you want to be in the not so distant future. So the pink is all about self-love, so this is the heart centre and it's the feminine of the heart. So you know, what you want to connect to at this moment is to love yourself more. I'm, I am writing this down. So yeah. the first card is pink and I need to love myself more. Yeah, this is the feminine. So it's all about being kind and gentle to yourself. Okay. The second color is turquoise. So this sits on the thyroid and this is about expression, but expression from the heart. So saying how you truly feel, not what you think. So when we say how we really feel, um, we're being our true authentic self and nobody can you know, say anything so like I that. need to say what I truly feel, yeah. but I do, and sometimes I upset people in the process. <laughs> I really do. Okay. She does. And what's the third one? The third one is uh, orange. So this is your navel center. This is about creativity, gut instinct, and it, it is also about the feminine energy. So you know, in order for you to open up the turquoise and to speak your truth. You need to tap into your creativity, mm, nice. your gut instinct, and your feminine energy. So that tells me to kind of not be afraid of being creative and just yeah. going with the flow rather than planning stuff, which is what we're doing tonight, okay? And then that's going to lead you to the gold, and the gold is the spleen chakra, mm -hmm. and this is about inner wisdom, self-confidence, being your true authentic self, and tapping into your inner wisdom. Fabulous. Because I've never kind of picked those in the same way. So something has changed um, from what I used to pick in the past because it was all about grief and you know. So now we're moving into creativity and expressing how I feel. Okay, I can see people coming in and out. Please let us know where you're watching from. Give us thumbs up, text something because I'm not sure that the text thing is working. Do you think it's working? Isn't it supposed to come up when you yeah. when you scroll up? It look, this is different. Tonight. I don't know. Right. So what else um, can you learn from us <laughs> tonight? Any questions at all? We're at a very special time on the planet where really things are falling away from us. There's lots of um, chaos and you know have it going on around us and especially with mercury retrograde you know um, devices go away anything to do with electronics break down the AC in my house today wasn't working and it took six hours for five engineers to fix it Now that never happens things like that never really happened to me so you know it's all about being mindful it's not a good time to sign contracts or make important decisions you have to really look at things with a fine tooth comb and go through it the intimate intricate details of contracts and if you're going to take on something new 
really weigh up the pros and cons. Don't just jump in feet first. Okay, I think what I'd like to do is maybe a mini spread over the next month. So shall we ask what yeah. would August bring in? Will you do it there and I'll do it for love. Okay. For everybody. So I'm asking for everybody, which is a good idea. Don't forget your Bluetooth microphone. How many cards? You pick five from these cards. And it's pointing to um, being centered, ground yourself, um, feel at home. It's also focusing on getting your house in order, like literally. Now is the time to lay the foundation. It's about uh, being in balance, not working too hard, not playing too hard, but bringing both aspects into balance. It's also about um, creativity, having fun. So there's a need here to kind of have a retreat, let go, um, try not to control your life so that you find your natural balance. And again, there is quite a lot of healing on the way. There's a lot of inspiration. What I also feel is that they're pointing to being a little bit more in nature, outdoors, especially in the night sky, under the stars. You know, look up, notice what's happening. Um, I think a lot of people notice the sun and the moon, but they forget the stars. And as we sunbathe, we can also stargaze. And I used to do that actually quite often, not now, because Dubai is really quite hot in the summer months but usually i would just sit in the garden look at the sky and just kind of um i don't know if um getting energy from the stars is the right thing but really it's like star bathing so i don't know i think it's to do with the expansion when you just open up your energy you kind of forget that you're restricted and limited so have fun let go of control get your house in order find your balance, reconnect with old friends as well. And I think it's just a playful, nice period next month if you plan not to plan. So if you let go of planning, you'll find that you'll just fall back into your natural rhythm. So that's my, my outlook for next month. Okay, and for love, we have to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Oh, that's interesting. So, you this know, is this if is you're always, single, I suppose. Yeah, if you're single, yeah. And attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, you know, we always attract people when we're in the moment, when we're having fun, when we're not really bothered about anything, but we're just enjoying others' company, enjoying ourselves. And we have to stay optimistic about your love life because positive thinking and faith will bring romance. And we have to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, you know, we have to make an effort. You can't just sit at home watching Netflix and expect, you know, the love of your life to come knocking at your door. It doesn't happen like so, that. So... And mm -hmm. we, the two that fell out were trust and very soon. So this situation is calling for you to have faith and clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And we keep getting very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon. So, you know, you've just got to be mindful. Do you know what you want in love? Do you know what partner you want to attract? You have to ask yourself all these questions and you have to just get on with your life and, and do you and stop worrying about, you know, the what's going to happen or, the woman or, 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 yeah. But you've got to make the effort, you know, try different things, go to new places. And stay optimistic because it is happening for all of us. All right, shall we talk about money and business? So what's the outlook for, I'm, I'm not gonna say August, how about just saying what's the outlook for the next six weeks? And then I'll ask what we need to heal in the next six, six weeks. Okay, that's excellent. So this is money and work. What should we know? What will be useful for us to know today? about the next six weeks in terms of money and finance or work. Again, these are really different cards. These are called the cartouche cards because they have a cartouche and they were developed by a lady called Murray Hope. 
that um, I really, really admire her work. She's passed on a few years ago. Um, and they're based on Egyptian symbols. So you shuffle and you cut, you reverse two cards. I always reverse two cards. And then these particular cards you divide into three piles. So the background is anything that has been taking a very long time um, is gonna start happening a lot easier. Let me see if I can point this down, at least you can see the cards. And that's actually true. Of the, the, really? Yeah, the next half of the year is going to be a lot easier, easier than the first How half. How come? Um, is it to it's do with astrology? It energet energetically, astroli oh, astrologically. That's, that's nice. This is also act soon, so don't sit on any ideas, um, any tasks that you need to do. Um, the wings is, you'll have success if you act on the right time. So it's not the time to procrastinate. But also do it with fun. Bast is about music, about fun. So don't take yourself, your life too seriously. Again, the scarab implies that whatever has been stuck will begin to move um, easily, smoothly. It will just happen. It will unfold. My gosh, we've got the stars again. Um, so really relax. Breathe in, breathe out. Find your natural rhythm. And any new projects, anything in the pipeline, is going to go amazingly successful in the next few weeks. So it seems to me like definitely the energies are changing. I mean, these are amazing cards. Um, on a different level, do something that you haven't done before. Listen to music that you haven't listened to before. Go to places, visit you know outdoor spaces that you haven't been to before. So everything new or any new experience can open you up to receiving inspiration in a new way about new topics, new subjects. We're still talking about work. So it's quite important that you get inspired, that you connect with nature, that you connect with other heavenly bodies. Think of it as being connected to the national grid, you know, electricity. If your house is connected to the electricity, then the energy will flow easily. Same thing as human beings, we need the natural energy because we forget we are part of the earth. So you need to connect with Mother Nature, you need to connect with the Earth, you need to connect with other heavenly bodies, trees, animals, birds, and all of that is gonna clear your energy and inspire you and give you more energy, more support to get what you need done, done. So it's a lot easier if you have the support of the universe. And if you do this soon, like literally it says within eight weeks, you will begin to see results of any new projects or finances that you've been working on. The last point is that it's definitely the time to try something new or to look at it in a new way. So if you're not too serious, if you can just reflect on this as if it's not your financial situation, maybe your best friends or your best friend's business, you can be more objective if you distance yourself and then you can see a new way of doing something. So more fun, more relaxed way, Distance yourself. In other words, don't be too emotional, but definitely what you're dealing with will meet with success. And this is really nice. Yeah, and the healing cards actually follow on from that. Um, I'm going to show you because these are so beautiful. Discover your life purpose. Mm. And it's 29 and 9 and 2 are 11. And 11 is a master number and it's a gateway to transformation. Mm. It's actually my number. Nice. So you need to um, look at, pay it's attention. It's also inspiration. Yes, inspiration. So Which you need to um, listen, uh, notice the numbers that you keep seeing repetitively because it's a message for you. So just to briefly tell you what the, what the card means, start asking yourself, what is the meaning of your life? As a soul who is having a physical experience, you are here to grow and learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, stretching and understanding your reasons for being here. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or his destiny. Your guides, angels and higher self are constantly communicating with you through signs, feelings, people and books. Follow your hunches, you are being given important guidance, which may show up via a strong feeling to travel somewhere, to speak to someone, attend a sem seminar, write, paint, etc. No matter how far stretched your inner guidance is, you need to listen. And then we get wild. <laughs> well, what does that mean? 
in terms of wow. what we're asking about. Well, it's card we number got 16. To, um, which is six, and six is the number of love and money. Um, there is a wild, untamed spirit inside of you, desperate to be unleashed. Free it and claim the gifts of energy, power, passion, and creativity that it offers you. Nice. So in a way, it's similar. Have fun, yeah. relax, unleash your creativity. Nice. And then... The next card is beauty. Beauty. I think. So it's... What number is it? I think it's... This is number 17. Yeah. Wow. Which is eight. Again, Which the number of money. Money and infinity and balance. Recognize your inner and outer beauty. So my logo is inner peace, outer beauty. You are beautiful, special, unique and attractive. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and felt good about what you see? Did you know that your features can literally change based on how you feel about yourself That's and so your true. life? Your internal experiences are etched on your face and your body. People can feel your energy when you enter a room. When a person who is not thought of as being physically good looking connects to their own inner light, wisdom and warmth, the glow that emanates from within makes them extremely appealing and attracts people and opportunities towards them. This is so true about so the face. True. It shows how we feel, what we've been through. I mean, yeah, what I've learned from Katrina, because she's really a rejuvenation expert, and also another friend and colleague, Anna Khan, it, everything is reflected here. Because you hide it, you hold back, you're tense, it changes the structure of your face. Um, so it kind of makes sense why beauty is here, because if you like what you see in the mirror, it's reflecting what's on the inside. So we're not talking about beauty in a superficial way. It's really about that inner peace that gets reflected through how you look and feel. And then the last card is alchemy. And alchemy is the number 25, which is seven. Seven is a spiritual number. And this is about um, the path you are on is about to go through a very powerful transforma transformation. Sure. Nothing is how it seems. Hmm. Interesting. You have an <laughs> opportunity to take a big leap into your level of consciousness. It is extremely important that you focus on letting go of any negativity and beliefs that no longer serve you. You have access to the energy of alchemy, which can transform the most challenging experiences into incredible gifts and miracles. Meditate and take action on your highest goals and dreams. They are on their way to coming true. We love that. Amazing. Nice. What helps you do that um, is if you do a journal, write in a journal every day what you want to manifest in your life. Really? Yeah. You write that every day? Mm. Because when you look at something on paper that you've written, the brain takes it in in a different way. And if you do that every day, it starts unraveling exactly what you do want and you don't want and what you thought you want, you actually don't want, but you just don't look back at the page before. And it doesn't matter if you write one sentence or three pages, it's just as you're feeling in the moment. Also, gratitude is very important. Always be grateful. I normally like write a list of what needs to get done at the beginning of the day. But I guess it's the same as manifesting it. But I've never used it for manifesting things mm -hmm. long term. Yeah, so when you look at it, you know, your brain begins to accept it. It becomes familiar. So your brain will not stop you from getting there. Because usually our brains are designed to um, stop us from going through a change because it sees any change as a risk and the brain's job is to um, help preserve our life. So that's why we unconsciously stop ourselves from moving forward because the unknown is risky. But when you look at it, it becomes so familiar. When you look at your list, it becomes so familiar that unconsciously you will stop fighting yourself. You will not be scared. It will be familiar. It would seem natural that you would take the next step forward. So this is a very nice tip. I, I, as I said, I normally use it to get things done in a day or in a week, but I'm gonna start using it to kind of manifest things in a month, in three, in a year. They say that you should do it for at least one month, but if you do it for three months, then you really see big changes in your in. life. Really? And I've done Every it myself, day. yeah. Amazing, well, you know, well, you know regularly, you yeah. 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 But it really, really works. It really Wonderful. does work. Wonderful. Well, that's really good. Thanks, Katrina. 
All right, guys, I want to hear from you because I can't see the text thing. I don't know why it's not coming up. Would somebody text us something? Should I have this on or not? I don't know. Is it different? It's different I don't know. Today. It looks a bit different to me. So are you guys watching? Um, can you hear us? Any questions at all? I don't know, can they hear us? I hope they can. I'm wearing a rather bright color today and green means letting go. Green is letting go, it's also bridge. the color of the heart chakra. Well, this green, yeah, the heart chakra in the color therapy is more emerald. Okay, but I can green... see new viewers. Sorry, please give us thumbs up. Let us know where you're watching from. I just want to make sure that this is working because I can't see <laughs> anything. I'm just seeing numbers. Okay. okay, back to green. Yeah, so it's about letting go, crossing that bridge from the old to new and finding the freshness in life. Topped by yellow, which is the stress color and I've been very stressed today. You know, for me, um, yellow, by the way, is not stress. It's, it's inspiration, it's mental focus. Like when it I'm writing, these things yeah, as well. yeah, it just helps you to kind of. Mm. It's the yang to the yin, male energy. So what else should we address? What needs to be healed? Mm. We said we're gonna do that. Yeah. So we've got body, mind, emotions, feelings. What should we heal? What needs to be healed now as a collective? What area should we focus on? Okay. Try again. I'm gonna set this. Apparently somebody's trying to send a text, but they can't, and I don't know why. Okay, give us thumbs up. Let us know where you're watching from. What did you find? Self-sabotage. Is the thing that we need to heal. Yeah. Okay. And it's the number two. Number two is about relationship. Not very nice. I'm gonna check the connection, Katrina, the and I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. You hold the fort. The hooded, um, the hooded skulls. So self-sabotage, let's see what the book says. I love these cards, isn't it so beautiful? And it gives you action steps to take with each one of them as well. My lovely friend Carol gave me this as a gift. So, become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. You're about to sabotage a big opportunity. Okay, Mercury retrograde. Okay, I don't know why we're not getting the text, so I just took my sister's mobile. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, they can hear us well. Okay, okay thank you. So we've got a request from Sana. Uh, she's in Amman, Jordan, and she would like a general reading. Sana, is anything on your mind in particular, like any area? So I'm going to go back to okay. self-sabotage for a minute. So yeah, now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you're unworthy of wonderful, enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur archetype, you begin to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve and become fulfilled. Ain't that the truth? The saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you with the misguided belief that if you don't try, you can't fail. It forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy which would fulfill you. On the lighter side, the saboteur can help you connect to your intuition and help you to listen to your deeper wisdom. It can assist you in deciphering Deciphering. Deciphering a potentially dangerous situation from an exciting one. So we're all self-sabotage people at one time or another in our life. And it usually happens because of fear. Okay. And we don't... That's very interesting. Um, I'm going to read that later. Mm. Can we put a, a mark so I can come back to it? 
that's really interesting because I think very often we let ourselves down. Okay, I don't know why your texts are not coming through on, on my mobile, but we have quite a lot of viewers. Thank you guys, thank you Nick, thank you Sana, thank you Giuseppe. So shall we attempt um, Sana's question? She's like to know what about her spiritual growth. Okay. What about your spiritual growth? <laughs> What do you want to know? Just where am I at in terms of my spiritual growth? It's a bit general. Come Maybe on, that's, that's the area she wants to focus on. And then Nick from Dubai wants um, just again a general thing. Wow, well, for me, I'm using Asandra's cards. Um, really, really nice. Asandra was one of the guests on my show. And they're really rather lovely cards. So, um, it seems to me that you're on the right path. You need to connect and ask your my, my master guides regularly um, to work with you. What is it? Um, what help in what area do you need? And it shows that there will be a new birth to who you are in terms of your spirituality, meaning you're on the cusp of a new level of awareness, if I can put it that way. And this is going to lead to your empowerment and more growth higher growth so it seems to me that you're on the right path you will complete what you came to do in this lifetime um, and generally I would just say Sana keep asking for guidance you know just ask in your mind you know please guide me to whatever you know there's a this is to do with master guides ie um, maybe on a higher level of wisdom because you have pathfinders that for example you can ask to help you find the right parking spot but the master guides are for bigger issues in life. Um, uh, when you really need inspiration to guide you as to you know, whether to turn right or left, what is the right option for you in terms of important issues in, in your life. So there's a feeling here, I get the feeling that you need to tap into, ask for guidance more frequently. Um, don't do it on your own, help is at hand. And it looks really wonderful. And the healing you have to do is on your family and your tribe. Interesting. And the tribe is about your culture, the place you live, the country you're in. And um, great, you know, she says she feels this. Yeah. Clear, clear the ancestral lineage, because you are the new beginning. Number twenty is again about relationship. It goes down to a two. So it's about your relationship with yourself and your relationship with your family. And where does it need healing? So you need to ask yourself these questions. Oh, brilliant. The text is working now. Hi, Nadia. Thank you for watching. Hi, Angie. Long time no see. Thank you for watching. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So, Nick, general reading. Is there any particular area, Nick, you want to focus on? Yeah. Oh, um, Nick would like to know if he's on the right path for, for work. work. Oh, great. Can you see the text now? Mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant. So, sister, you can come and get your mobile now. The text is working on my mobile. <laughs> so, is Nick on the right path for work? Have faith, baby. Have faith. Oh, really? That's the thing. Faith in himself, I suppose. Oh, yes. And it's 22. 22 is the master number. 22 two is 4. It's the angels. So you've got your angels protecting you. It's a master number. Just have the faith because it's welcome, coming. Sarah. It's coming. And from my cards, you're absolutely right smack on destiny. You also, Nick, need to ask your higher self, i.e. just tune in, center yourself and just ask for help and inspiration. You're going through a lot of changes. Um, these are really wonderful cards because they're very much on a soul level. So you're going through what is called a paradigm shift. In other words, everything is going to change. How you work, how you think, how you approach life. So whatever you used to do before will not work now. You need to work in a new way. You need to have a fresh perspective. You will come together with the right partner, presumably a business partner or a colleague that will help you. Whatever you do in life, 
you're going to fulfill your destiny. Amazing. So don't procrastinate, but ask for guidance and definitely follow what feels right rather than panic and do what you feel, what you think you should be doing. It's more about feel your way. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay, any other questions? Who else is watching? That's really great. Nadia, any questions? Are you still there? Tonight is your night. Angie, how are you doing, Angie? Any questions, Nadia? Did anybody choose a colour? Do you want me to do the oh, colour yes. test again? Oh, yes. I'm just going to nip over and give this back. Yeah, so if anybody is watching this um, after it's gone live, you could just send me a message and I can tell you what your colour means for you at any time of the day or not too late evening. <laughs> Okay, you've got to do this quickly because it's the subconscious mind and the subconscious knows everything the body needs at any given moment. So you're ready. I don't need to take more than a few seconds to choose four maybe colors. Maybe let them pick one color. Yeah, you can. And then maybe if you guide us through them, where am I? I move the chair, I'm out of the screen. Can you see them all? You're welcome, Nick. You're welcome, Sana. Okay, guys, choose a color. Okay, we need the color. Can you, can anyone give us a color? Text it and we'll type what it means. How about that? Yeah. I don't know why I keep going out of the screen. It's really annoying, this vertical recording. Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Um, Giuseppe, okay. What is Nacho Io? We don't speak Italian. Non parli italiano, Giuseppe. <laughs> Usually a translation comes up, but... Uh, volevo divert, divert, divertimenti. So, okay, something about divertimenti. Truth. Is it? Uh, Isn't it diversity? Or divertimenti, no. Okay, color. Okay, Nick, Sama, you're still there? Pick, us a, pick a color. Sana, you're still there? Pick a color and we can interpret it for you. Okay. Did you cleanse you your crystals in the full moon? Oh, that's true. Cleanse that is true. Take them to the beach. Have we got a color, no? Why don't you ask me a question? Would you like to ask a question? How is your trip to Mykonos going to go? Oh, How about yes, that? that's okay. a good question. I'll use these cards. Katrina travels, um, visits, she gets asked to visit international resorts and spas to give her amazing treatments, healing, reading, plus rejuvenation. So we're just gonna ask how will the Mykonos trip go? Because I'm not gonna see you after that. I'll probably be in Canada. Yeah. Black. There's no, so Sana there's, picked there's black. There's no black. Where did you see black? Maybe it was dark. Maybe the dark purple. There's no black, my Buonasera, love. Buonasera, Rossi. Hello. Buonasera. And Giuseppe. Is that how you say it? Giuseppe? Giuseppe. Um, he says he is in love with the lady in green. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> We were lovers in a past life. Okay, Summer picked blue. Um, what is Il blue, Diallo? Blue, blue. Diallo is blue? Blue, there's two I blues. I think she sees that blue. as black. Black, this that one. That looks black, yeah. This is emerald. Yeah, very dark green. Very dark green. Verde, yeah. Oh. Okay, shall we do blue for summer? Which blue? blue, blue. Light blue or the dark blue? Blue is the throat center, so it's about communication. She's also been coughing. Aha, uh -huh. so what you're not saying, what you're afraid to say, you need Light to speak blue. up. Yeah. 
You need to tell your is sister there more than to a blue? like. <laughs> is there another blue? There's blue and there's turquoise. So there's blue. turquoise or there's this blue. Okay, what, what do either mean? So the blue is the throat center. So this is about communication. It's about speaking your truth, um, finding peace and calm. The turquoise is about self-expression from the heart. So you speak your truth from the heart center. And when we do that, we become our true authentic self. Oh, thank you, thank you. So that's you. the difference My coffee has between arrived. the two of them. And the turquoise is about peace and tranquility, where the blue is about peace and calm. Of course, turquoise. turquoise also makes you sleep very well. Thank um, you. They come in perfumes and serums and oils, so if you use them, they really help you on an emotional level. Okay. Thank the you. The system, the system. I think Sana says dark purple. Is there dark purple? Yeah. So, um, which one's the dark purple? This one. Oh. This one. Okay. This is the crown center. This is your connection to your higher self, to God, to all that is. It's balance. It's your connection to infinity and beyond, to your ancestors. So when you choose this card, it means that you want to meditate more. You need to bring balance to your life. And um, yeah. Fantastic. So we're back to your question now. Yes. That trip looks absolutely amazing. Financially, it will be successful. You'll meet very interesting people. And I think you're gonna get a lot of healing done to clients, but also you are going to be very healed. Oh, very good. Well, you can't be very healed, but you know, there's a lot of healing coming Mykonos your way. Mykonos is a very special place. This it is, is actually, yeah. All the year. water is just amazing. amazing. It's yeah. the fourth year of, I'm going to go for work there, and it really has very special energy. Sana says, oh my God, Excellent. Did that make sense to you then? No, it's like I'm reading your mind with these color, this color test because it's the subconscious and the subconscious knows everything the body needs at any given time. And by the way, they come with a set of organic um, perfumes that you spray according to the color you pick and it instantly, you smell like three to five times and it instantly changes your mood. Um, we've done... Uh, several videos on that so if you look back at the videos but it's a beautiful set and I I've, I've got one I bought one from Katrina and it does work you know whenever you dip down you don't want your energy to come down all the way so use something very quickly like that and it brings your energy up again you're welcome great any more questions we've got about 20 minutes um, I don't know if Nadia and Angie are there. Don't be shy. If you've got a question, please ask. Okay, Sama is asking, can you see the cards for my private business? Like how would their private business go? Will you check and I'll check? <laughs> I fell in love with the woman dressed in green. Okay, Giuseppe, we know that. <laughs> Ti amo, amore. Oh, oh, oh. So how will Summer's business go? Private business, how will it go? Oof, alchemy. Amazing. Really? really? Amazing. I'm not pulling any more cards. Really? Alchemy. So when you pick that one, that is it? Yeah. There's nothing more to say. Really? You have to follow your heart, follow your intuition, stay grounded, keep focused. Keep steady, keep going. Yeah, and you'll do well. Well, my cards say that there's going to be a lot of new opportunities and you have to be flexible to try something new. And the change for the positive, for the better, is going to happen really quickly, like within three to four weeks. Nothing to worry about, you have protection. But as Katrina said, you need to keep going. This is, if you like, part of your destiny. So you're doing the right thing. You just need to trust and keep going, but also stay flexible and open to new ideas. If you keep, um, this also says, if you don't do anything, nothing will happen. So you need to talk about it. You need to maybe market it. You need to be really positive about it. And there will be times when it really, really happens and then it will slow down and then it happen. 
and then that's the nature of the business you know kind of like breathing but it will be hugely successful and you need to keep doing it so Sana wants to know about her work okay discover your life purpose you need to really think about what it is you want what, what makes your heart sing um, are you really doing what you love right now? What if she is, then what would that mean? And if you are... She's a painter, I think. If I'm right. You're welcome. Dis but it's discover, so... Maybe discovering something new? Yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, shall we flip another card? Thank you, guys. Really appreciate your questions because... Otherwise, we won't be here. We won't be doing it if you're not here. And I really want it to have, um, you know, to spend time with you, really, to do something useful. So I hope you're enjoying this. Leave us comments. Um, even when you watch the rebroadcast, let us know what you think. And maybe also tell me what would you like Soul Talk with Sahar to be about? Who would you like to see? What questions do you have to ask? We've got few interviews coming up um, with my uh, yoga guru, Sanjeev Krishna. Um, I hope to bring that to you. We've got Nadia Bash from Saudi Arabia, life coach. You mean that's not what I should be doing? Well, I'm asking you, do you know what your life purpose is? Because this is asking you to discover it. And if you do know what it is, then you need to delve deeper and see how you could make it better or more productive, something like that. Okay, say that again. If she does know what she's doing, she needs to delve deeper and see how she can, you know, make the business better or enjoy her work better. It's something you need to discover. Yeah, new, something new, I would say, Sana. Working in a new way, working with other people. You also need a break. You need to hang out with people that do not, who do not put any pressure on you. Like really, to is rather than to be, rather than to is. Um, you need to have fun. You need to swim or be around water. All of that will empty your tank and then you have room to be inspired with new things. But I would say collaboration, uh, maybe by working with others, you'll get inspired in working in new ways. I think the style is changing or the subject matter of your painting is changing. You're going to see things indirectly um, and new work is emerging. I, I don't know if you use your hands, you do sculpture. It could be like mixed media, 3D or sculpture coming into it. I don't know. But I would suggest that you try that anyway. You know, learn it or practice it and then see how the painting changes. So it's almost like you need to experience new things and then you'll see your work um, in fresh eyes. Because 29 is 11 again, so it's the gateway to transformation. So there's something else that you have to discover about your work. Even though you're close to it, there's something more for you to discover. And Giuseppe, you're in luck because I'm coming to work in the Amman Resort in October. <laughs> so I'll see you then. Um, you can come and have a treatment with me. Summer says, what can she do to attract the right opportunities in terms of work? Oh wow, Sana says she's also in a new path in work. Brilliant, so yeah, I'm glad so it makes sense basically. Then, yeah. Fantastic. So what does someone need to do to attract new opportunities? I don't think that you need to keep doing what you're doing. It's more to stay open and flexible and open to suggestions, you know, open to receiving. But I will ask again. So what are we asking now? So someone needs to know uh, what can she do to attract new opportunities, because we mentioned that she needs to do new opportunities. You need to have or, or faith. Ha okay, faith again, yeah. 22 is the master number. 
You just so need that's to a very believe, good card, basically. Believe and you will receive. Yeah, take it, take it for granted. Again, I'm getting <laughs> the same thing. You need to have faith. You need to believe in what you're doing. That's what faith is. And be patient. And be patient because you're impatient. That's very, very similar, by the way. This card. And to stay open to new suggestions, ideas. If somebody suggests something, do it. And 23 is the... Uh, two and three is five. And five is about change. Yeah, and the other thing is don't keep changing your mind. You know, like don't say, oh, it's the wrong business. Oh, I'm gonna, you know, wrap it, wind it down. That's not the thing to do. So that's what you need to do. Stay steady. Believe in what you're doing. Keep doing it. Be flexible, listen to new ideas or suggestions. Oh, okay. She's saying she's not asking about herself. She's asking about whether her daughter will find the right work opportunity. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, lovely. Nice to see you, Cynthia. So for those who've joined us, this is Soul Talk with Sahar and tonight with Katrina, we're addressing questions from the audience. So if you've got any questions, Cynthia, um, let us know. We've talked about numbers, cards, guidance, colors. Oh, yes. this is very interesting. It's again the number of 11. Take off your mask or masks and it's a young girl, Summer. So. So it is re definitely related to your daughter. So she has to stop trying to be someone she's not. So like be real. Yeah. Look for work, get it done. Yeah. Same thing, my cards. Hello, Elena. Um, my cards are very positive. She needs to get on with it. Um, maybe there will be an opportunity overseas, maybe, or in a different state or in a different country. She needs to be more positive because she puts herself down, she doubts herself. So I think if you're confident, then you attract the right opportunity. Uh, but it does look good and she will find something. Excellent. Hi, Cynthia. <laughs> Hello, Elena. Any questions tonight? We've got like, what, seven minutes left, I think. Bring the camera, Elena. No, no, this is to invite them to come oh. to be a guest on the show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they just, that's if you want to have someone come on the show, then you bring them on camera. Okay, any more questions? May I know something about my relation? You mean your relationship, Elena? Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Are we asking in general what will happen or? Can we be more specific? I think just what about the relationship she's in. Is that right, Elena? Because oh, these are the romance her... angel cards. Okay. And that's her date of birth. Where did my pen go? Just in general then, Elena, yeah? Yeah. Are you in a relationship? Yeah, how will her relationship go? She's saying yes. Heart to heart conversations, you have to communicate. Very important. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Oh, she's asking if she will go and live with her love. Uh -huh. Well, you need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's the translation. Um, I don't know, do you talk about it? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so again I would um, agree with Katrina you need to communicate I am not sure if you are in touch if you are in the same country if you have been in communication you've either passed a few problems or you have sorted them out or you're about to sort them out and then things will be a lot easier I think one of you you know, you live apart in different countries, am I right? If I am, then the answer is yes. You'll get, one of you will get to travel and see the other. 
So yeah, you will be together. So whatever problems you've had, you may overcome them. And I've got really good news because this is your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Wow. And you have to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you really have to have a deep heart-to-heart -heart conversation with him. Be honest and open. Be open and honest and don't be afraid to express your love. I hope that makes sense. She says, yes, we've talked already. Okay. Different countries. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's saying, saying wow. Okay, great. Lovely. Anyone else? You've got four minutes, four minutes to go. Oh, I haven't seen Angie McNeil for a very long time. Angie, are you still there? Do you want to ask a question? Or maybe the thing got interrupted, I don't know. Oh, doesn't tell you who's watching. So you if you want welcome. to have a look at my website, it's www.katrinavalenti.com. And mine is sahahunedi.com. We're also on YouTube. We do a program together called Loose Lips. So just Google our names, um, Soul Talk with Sahar or Rejuvenation Expert Katrina Valente. Follow us on Facebook, IG. Subscribe. Um, you know when you subscribe to YouTube, there's a little grey bell. Um, click that because this is how YouTube works um, The more interested you are in the videos then the more that we can do so please do that <laughs> Elena says you are my angels today that she was afraid she was a bit afraid about it No need to be afraid really no because the way you feel um, You know change the stuff. Let me just ask what you need to heal in the relationship. Okay, that's very good Maybe next time we can do our insta healing thing Ooh. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Sana. <laughs> the sexual arts. Well, if they live in different countries, then and 33 not is it. also another master number. For me, that would say intimacy. It also relates to communication because you cannot be intimate with someone that you can't communicate with. <laughs> so maybe you need to kind of deepen the connection. Um, Spirit always told me that you know love is not about feelings love is about a connection because feelings are you know emotions they go up and down it's energy in motion but if you have a deep connection with someone you can always sort it out because that connection even when they die it does not disappear it does not disconnect so work on the connection speak from the heart um, open up and then you know you'll begin to um, integrate together on a much deeper level. Another little tip is when you meet, because there's a feeling you're in different countries, really hug and you know don't let go of the hug. Just stay in it and see who pulls back first. And what I found out when I've done that, you know, with my late husband, we study it actually in our holistic course, is um, I was the one who was pulling away. But when you stay in it, you allow the two energies to communicate without saying anything. And literally your auras will get used to each other and you will find yourself much comfortable in each other's company I'm saying all of this because of the card that Katrina got you know that's what I was stimulated with that you need to be more comfortable in each other's company oh great um, Elena says please add the link okay maybe I'll put it in the chat because I don't know how to do that now or maybe I do oh, I don't know twin flames what is she asking I about? hope you're not a twin flame. <laughs> There's many challenges with twin flame relationships and you will only come together once you're both healed. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they can heal. And don't wait for him. You have to do the healing because the woman goes first. What do you and mean? And then they rise up. Oh. So you have to just focus on yourself, Elena, and then he will just follow if he's your true twin flame. Oh, that's a great thing. So I've put the two websites. There you are. Okay, I think we're, we're almost wrapping it up. Um, it's 10 o'clock. 
thank you guys it's been an hour thank you guys for watching really appreciate that you stayed with us and thank you for all your likes and comments and hopefully let us know if you would like us to do this soon join us on youtube subscribe leave a comment and we'll come back and we'll answer it thank you very much for being with us tonight thank you bye bye, bye, -bye. ciao ciao tutti